Hey, and welcome back to The Revolution and a brand new WWE 2K22 video. Over the weekend, I had the awesome opportunity of trying out the WWE 2K22 creation suite, thanks to 2K, which included create a championship. To be sure you don't miss out on any of our WWE 2K22 content, hit that bell icon and subscribe to the channel. You can also head over to our official website www.revolution.com where you'll find a breakdown of today's video and so much more. Because it's been a while since our last WWE 2K mainline game, I thought it would be the perfect time to create a beginner's guide for WWE 2K22's Creator Championship in the same vein as our Create Superstar video. Like our Create Superstar video, I'd say it's best to enter the mode with a slight vision in mind, but maybe not too descript as a custom character process. The basics I like to jot down are, who is the title for, the men or the women, is it a singles or tag team title, and is the championship tied down to a specific weight class or show? In this video, we're going to set out with the goal of creating a women's intercontinental championship, as let's face it, the women could do with a mid-card title. Once you have those details down, it's time to enter the create a championship menu where you're welcomed with the initial options of the base settings, front plate, strap, left and right side plates and title information. Starting out with the base settings, you have the option to go with a template to start out or you can dive straight into the front plate, side plate or strap design settings. I personally like to enter the templates first as I can get an idea of the current and retro championship designs that might influence the type of championship I want to create. There are a total of 31 championship template designs available to choose from which include the classic women's NXT championship as well as the Divas championship. Once you've decided on an overall template for your championship, you can then break away from the template to start customising each piece individually to make the title unique to your design. Starting out with the front plate design, you once again have the option to choose between the 31 front plate designs, with those 31 template parts then available for both the side plates and strap design. With the Women's Intercontinental Championship in mind, I decided to stick with the classic intercontinental plate design with a white strap to make the gold plates pop. For the side plates, I decided to switch things up a little and use the current day main championship side plates to link in with the current day WWE features. It also means I can have a little bling on the championship itself thanks to the gemstones as well as the design focused on showcasing individual superstar custom plates. Once you're done with the base settings, it's time to further customise your championship pieces, starting with the front plate. From here, you can customise the colour of your front plate and the accents as part of the plate, as well as changing the material of the plate itself. I decided to have some silver accents to divide up the gold plate segments and create a contrast between the white strap and overall design. When it comes to choosing material for your plate, there are a variety of textures available including leather, matte, damaged, vinyl, steel, steel bumped, concrete, rust, plastic, wood, denim, fabric and crocodile scales. Whilst the other materials look cool at times, they don't look anywhere near as fancy as the default option in my opinion. Once you're done with the materials, you can then apply images to your front plate, including preset reliefs, WWE designs, general designs, flags, custom lettering, miscellaneous images, arena images, superstar images, custom images and group images. At the time, I wasn't connected to Community Creations, so I didn't have any custom images of my own, but I highly recommend using them when the option is available because there are some really awesome titles out there thanks to some amazing creators. If you're new to create a championship, I would advise going with the relief options, which can cover a whole range of classic and modern day pieces, including the retro WWE World Heavyweight Championship. Within the options available, you can find pieces that have different championship classes, including hardcore, women's, intercontinental, tag team, and so forth, that can really be helpful when creating a title. You also have the option to use existing side plates as part of your front title, but I suggest sticking with the specific front plate parts as they flow much better in my opinion. Once you've selected a part, you can move the piece to wherever you like on the front of the plate, as well as the option to adjust the size, rotation, and flip horizontally or vertically. There's also the option to apply a material to the piece, as well as changing its coloured layers, giving the pattern outline or drop shadow, or skewing the image itself. After playing around for some time, I finally decided on using the classic women's NXT championship pieces for the women's and championship parts, which I colour swap for white and gold to best fit the rest of the title. I also decided to reconnect with the original Intercontinental Championship by using the classic Intercontinental logo in the centre, once again colour swapping the layers to fit in with everything else. 
Once you're done with the front plate, you can then move on to the strap, which also provides the option of changing its colours, material, applying patterns, as well as images. I was already happy with the strap itself, so I only swapped out the gold studs with some silver ones, which felt much more in line with the rest of the design. While I may not have opted to use a pattern or logo for my title, I do love that you can make your title truly unique and go with something like a recycled championship as seen on WWE television not so long ago. After you're finished with the strap, you have the option to customise your left and right side plates with the option to once again change the colour of the side plate parts, change the material and add images. You also have the option to copy the left and right side plate designs to opposite plates or mirror the left and right side plates to the opposing sides. After playing around with the championship for a while, I decided I wanted to switch out the main championship side plates for the cruiserweight championship side plates instead to give the title a bit more flair. The decision meant I could still stick with my original vision of using the round custom side plates, so I hopped straight back into the side plates customization and began the process of seeing what I thought would fit best. In the end, I decided to go with the Cruiserweight Globe style logo as I wanted something somewhat generic but something that also screamed WWE. Once again giving the plates the white, silver and gold theme, I then applied the plate to both the left and right hand sides to balance it out. Once you've completed your championship makeover, it's then time to head on over to the title information tab where you'll give your championship a name and set the purpose and classification of your title. Among the title information options are championship name, entrance name, champion name, championship movie, ring announcement, gender, single or tag and cruiserweight. Thanks to our early decision, we already know our title will be the Women's Intercontinental Championship, which will be for the female superstars to compete for in singles action, so we simply pop that information in. When it comes to the championship movie option, this feature comes with five available animations, with a range of more current and retro animations including a nod to The Undertaker, or animation seen more recently on WWE TV. Once you're done here, there's nothing left to do but save your custom made title and begin defending or fighting for your very own WWE Championship. It's honestly as simple as that. Like the Create a Superstar feature, I love how simple and straightforward the Create a Championship feature is because it really makes it a whole lot easier for creators like me who aren't the best when it comes to making titles. The available options and templates allow you to either create existing WWE titles or create something crazy and out of the box thanks to custom logos, images and patterns that really only limit the process to your creative input. Over the last few weeks I've seen some amazing looking titles on the Community Creations tab and I have no doubt that we will see a whole bunch within the first week of release. So that's our Create a Championship Beginner's Guide and I really hope you managed to take away something from this video even if it's how that I am at creating titles. Not everything has to be super serious so have some fun and see what crazy designs you can come up with and be sure to send them over so we can have a look and a laugh at. To be sure you don't miss out on any of our WWE 2K22 content, hit that bell icon and subscribe to the channel. You can also head over to our official website www.revolution.com where you'll find a breakdown of all of today's news and so much more. Until next time, I've been The Revolution and I'm off to become the first ever Women's Intercontinental Champion.